Tragic new details are coming to light tonight about the murder of three young children in West Hills. Their mother charged today with killing them. NBC4's Robert Kovacic is live in West Hills for us alongside a community in mourning. Robert. Carolyn, you're exactly right, and this is being dealt with on so many different levels. The school where two of the siblings attended offering mental health professionals, parents coming here tonight with their children, hoping that it will help them to cope. But they say, admittedly and understandably, they just don't know how to respond. If there is a motive for this crime, it has not yet been disclosed. The questions come now from very young friends. Mom, why did she do it? And I said, I'm sorry, I don't have answers. Why did a mother seen in this photo smiling at the beach with three of her children end their lives? And why, as she told police, did she have a 16-year-old believed to be her son help her do it? Lavidia Gonzalez's kids are classmates with the youngest killed. Give them strength uh, because you can do nothing. The gate outside the home padlocked. It's a crime scene. It's where a girl and two boys were found inside. How they died and when they died will be determined by the L.A. County coroner. But a timeline we have begun to build starts after 9 o'clock Saturday night when Blanca Hernandez tells us her next door neighbor suddenly turned up in her yard with a Bible, praying, taking pieces of her hair and burning them by a candle's wick. After midnight, as she was taken away by paramedics, Blanca heard Angela Flores say this. She was like, like a laughing and say, I kill my kids. I kill my kids. The hospital confirmed she was seen in the early morning hours of Sunday and released. Just after 7.30 in the morning, the LAPD responded to a report of an assault with a deadly weapon at the home, discovered the bodies of the children, and arrested Angela Flores. Tomorrow morning, the 38-year-old will be taken from a jail cell where she's being held to a courtroom where she will be charged with three counts of murder in the deaths of 12-year-old Natalie Flores, 10-year-old Kevin Yanez, and 8-year-old Nathan Yanez. They're in a better place um, than in this world that we live in. As for that 16-year-old boy, he remains tonight in Juvenile Hall, but has not been charged by prosecutors. Once again, Angela Flores will be in court tomorrow morning, and Colleen, NBC4, will be there. Live tonight in West Hills, I'm Robert Kavasic. Let's go back to you.